Hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you so much for coming to see my video. This is going to be a reading on the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, in case uh, you needed a non-abbreviated name. <laughs> anyway, that's what it's going to be about. I invite you all to like and subscribe, being said. Let's get started here. The Ku Klux Klan, what is it we need to know about them from now till the end of September? Wasn't real sure of the time frame, but that's where we're going. What do we need to be aware of for the Ku Klux Klan from now till the end of September? That's some more cards. First one that popped out was a Ten of Swords. This is a bunch. This is way too many. This is half the deck. Hmm. Yeah, we'll feed them back in. This is a bunch of cards. We don't need that many cards. Whoops. So let's go again, Spirit. We can't use all those. Can you range the cards where I can actually use them? This is a Ten of Swords. You can see all the swords coming down. That's our flyer. It popped out. The Ten of Swords is not a happy card. Um, it's a card of despair, uh, wounds, sickness. Um, all the swords are poking at you. It is the end of a cycle, however, so you're going to have to rest from this. It's a card of defeat. It's not a good card in the deck. It's pain and sorrow, which, you know, might signify the KKK, but that's what the card is. What else have we got? Spirit, can we have another card for this? Let's just have one and we'll start from there again. If you don't mind. We'll just start with one card. I know we popped out the Ten of Swords. Ooh, ooh. Right. Can we have one more? Just to verify it's time to start. Or would you want me to shuffle some more? I really appreciate all of you that come back and see my my readings. And I appreciate all the new viewers too. This is kind of, I went into this side reading about this because Spirit asked me to. And if Spirit asked me to do a reading, I'm going to do that reading. I think we're probably as ready as we're going to be. I'll give it a couple more. Oop, there we go. A couple more shuffles. Well, there's three. Three. That's good. We can go with three. Thank you, Spirit. Don't really want to do a dozen, but I can certainly do three. Righty then. Let me get this show on the boat. Here we go. What we need to know about the Ku Klux Klan till the end of September. That'll give us a little time from now until September. I appreciate all of you spending a little time with me. I know that there's a lot of other things going on right now in August. At least there is for me. Alrighty, so we've got the Ten of Swords, which is not a, a happy card as we've already discussed. Let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have the Fool, the Zero. Well, here we have an M, and this is the very beginning. Lots of opportunity here. Lots of opportunity floating around the KKK. We'll see where they take a wild leap of faith. Or it could indicate that they act foolishly also, and it brings their downfall. 
or it could just bring them pain after all they've been around for a couple hundred years I think let me check the cards yeah we're pretty well in frame let me put this one down here I'll put the ten of swords with the fool Ends is one popped out and one was on the bottom of the deck. Okay. I will set them both there. Let's see what else we got. Straighten them out just a little bit. I know I'm dinking around a little bit. Hmm. All right. Okay, Spirit. What have we got? Let's turn our cards up. Five of Cups. Crying over spilt milk. Seven of Cups. Card of Confusion. And the Judgment card. The trumpet is a blowing. Yeah, they've been crying in the past over spilt milk. And they've confused. They've made missteps. They've they blamed everybody. They made wrong choices, bad choices, and they've shown up being a little confused and weak. And it's brought judgment down on them. They, they showed themselves, and yeah, people didn't much care for what they saw. So right now, that's that. The Three of Pentacles is a card of doing more, being more successful, learning more, uh, becoming more skilled at what you're doing. Yeah. The Two of Pentacles, they're trying to juggle things around. They're trying to keep a balance. They're trying to keep something out of sight, something in sight, they're trying to keep it going. Especially with this card of confusion, they like that. They want people to be a little confused, but they don't want to be confused. Ah, the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. They're thinking they're going to be emotionally fulfilled. This is a way for them to go. This is also another end of the cycle. Ten of Cups represents emotional fulfillment. This is making them happy. Whatever it, whatever it is, which is in this case the KKK, they're, they're thinking they're doing good. They're happy. They're saying we're, we're, uh, you know, we're fulfilling our needs and our wants of, of our heart. Hmm. That's right now. Okay, let's look on. Oh, good card. Ah, another card. Interesting, interesting. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. This is a message of a possible opportunity, but it's also a very chaotic, very swift moving energy. This is fast. This is either. This is just really fast energy. And usually this is a justice. This, this, the knight has a real hard problem accepting injustice, accepting anything that's not fair. The knight of swords, in this case, yeah, is a fast-moving Fast moving chaotic energy could be an opportunity, but person's got to be. If this is an opportunity for them, there will be a very small window and they'll have to move very swiftly and they'll have to do it a lot better than what they have been doing. But then they're learning, they are learning more and more how to manipulate, how to satisfy people's inner need for emotional security. They're learning how to do this. And with the Emperor's card, they think that they're on the right path, that they're, wow, two swords. 
They think that they can expand. They're they're expanding. They're growing. They're they're uh, having fertility. They're making more. They think that this is a good card. And they, and coupled with the ten of cups, that's not not bad at all. And she's got two swords on both sides of her. The Ace of Swords is a card of triumph and victory uh, through their own work, through your own work, through your own action. This is well-deserved triumph or victory. The Empress is a mother figure of the Major Arcana. I wonder if she isn't Mother Russia in this t case. But she is a mother figure. She represents growth. She represents fertility. So it looks like that they missed an opportunity in the recent past. And they're very upset and confused about it. Judgment has come down on them and they think that they're doing well. They really do. They think they're balancing it well and they're totally confused why people wouldn't just leap in there and join them. They're learning more. They're learning more of their skills. They're learning from the lessons of the past. And they're trying to get it to where they can they can keep people's emotions fulfilled while they're I don't know. While they're carrying on. While they're going to victory. Because that's what this card is. And this will be in the future. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they've learned from mistakes in the past. There's still, there was a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. And they... It was a karmic action here. They're reaping the rewards of this. And they learn from this. They learn from this. Let me clarify the judgment card. Of course, we cannot forget the overall. The Ten of Swords, Disappointment. Severe disappointment with the Ten of Swords. And the end of a cycle also. And then the beginning with the hope. They really think they can make this work. They think if they just do it right, if they just they learn enough, they get the message right, they can do this. They're happy right now. They're emotionally fulfilled right now. They learned from the past. They felt judgment come down on them. And they think they're doing a lot better. Let me clarify it here. Can we have another card? Let's have another card for the present. Let's have a ooh, card for the Ten of Cups. Let's have two cards then. King of Swords. The King of Swords is a mature person, but this is usually... The King of Swords is usually law. A lawyer or a judge or a policeman. Any of... Any uh, in uniform. Authority in uniform, usually. Yeah. Of course, he can also be a mature man, but he would probably be, and, and he has a problem with any kind of law breaking, actually. And like the Knight of Swords, he doesn't like anything that is unjust. And with his judgment card right next door, Possibility they might go to court and have a judgment in their favor or think that they're going to at least. Let's see what this one 
Ah, Seven of Swords. This is a sneaky card. This is a card of the spy, of the thief. Someone's sneaking around here. And they're going to get caught. Because that's the King of Swords. And this is Judgment. And they're going to get caught. They're, they think they got away with it. Wow. They think they got away with it. Whatever it was. I don't, This was behind that. They, they're, they're sneaking around doing something. Sneaking around doing something. Balancing things. On the face of everything, they're getting it balanced. But they're, they're sneaking around behind the scenes. And they're very happy with it. They think they're really getting away with it right now. But they're going to get caught. This is a card of getting caught. And with the judgment card. There you go. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, with the two sevens, you've got confusion, you've got uh, spying, you've got thieving, you've got stealing, you've got trying to trying to take stuff, trying to uh, perhaps take uh, credit for something that is not yours to take credit for. But you really think you're getting away with it. But then here comes the law saying, wait a minute, we got to have a little more. We got to have better judgment here. We've got to do better than this. Then we come down here to the night. Again, the chaotic energy. And the empress. The growth, the fertility. Hmm. So this is, this is the now. This is the present. Somebody's got an eye on them. They have learned. And they're juggling better. They're putting their message out in a more persuasive way. They're confused why people don't embrace them wholeheartedly. They don't know why. They're, they really think that they're right. And they want people to agree with them. Like so many, uh, yeah, they want people to agree with them. Overall, they're heartbroken, though. Overall, it's a big disappointment. And I know this, this had to be a big disappointment. But then they decided that they had an opportunity to rebuild. And here you find them rebuilding and juggling. They've lost a pentacle from here to here, though. They're happy. They think that they've got this done. That they've, they've juggled enough. They've stolen enough. They've snuck around enough. They're happy that they think they've got it done. They've got it covered. That they can get other people to come in. They can grow. So that they can grow. But then the law steps in. And indeed, for some reason, the law is stepping in. I don't know why. The Knight of Swords brings some action, brings some a swift and chaotic possible message. Can we clarify the Knight of Swords, please? Let's just do that. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. Not real sure what to clarify first here, but let's try the Knight of Swords while we're looking over. Hmm. We have the Knight and we have the Ace of Swords. And they're both coming to the Empress. The Knight of Swords uh, can't really abide any kind of... Wow, Empress... 
the High Priestess. Lots of things going on behind the scenes. A lot of things that are... Hmm. That are nebulous. That are unseen. That are in the spirit. The High Priestess is... In the spirit becoming reality, but not yet reality. The Empress brings the reality. So the Knight of Swords does not like injustice. And the High Priestess does not reveal all that she knows. And much of the time, she doesn't reveal anything. She can be a little bit deceptive. Uh, but a lot of times she doesn't mean to be. She just she just that away. It's just things are going on behind the scenes. Things are, are working behind the scenes with the high priestess and the empress. And the ace of swords, you know, they're working at this. If they achieve whatever it is that they're after, they're hiding it though. This is a hidden and with the, the Empress and the Knight of Swords, let's get another card for that if we can. Um, the Knight of Swords is real chaotic. And the High Priestess is real, really not connected to the Earth. Real kind of spacey and floating. Something from the past. Some kind of an offer from the past that that is that's or they're thinking of the past with very fond affection because that's what this card is even nostalgia from the past they think it was so much better but there is a they're not grounded they're not connecting with reality. The past was better in their mind, but in reality, the past had a lot of things hidden. But they believe that they can go with the Knight of Swords and recreate the past. There goes my battery. Hmm. And they may get it done with this Ace of Swords, can we? Clarify the Ace of Swords, please. And of course the Fool. Clarify the Ace of Swords, Spirit, please. Card for the Ace of Swords. I have a card. Okay. Let's have a card for the Empress then. I'm sorry. Let's have a card for the Empress. My bad. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> we get two cards for the Empress. Ooh, the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands indicating a change of residence and stability. So the Empress is going to bring a little change, a change of residence, a change of a job. Yeah. An offer of change. Well, it's just a change. It's the Knight of, Knight of, of Wands. Is, uh, it's travel. It's a change of, change of jobs. It's a change of residence. And this indicates the Four of Wands, the stability. It's like the four legs of a, a table. So it indicates growth with the change of residence and stability and victory. So it looks like they're going to maybe have a pretty good deal. Maybe they're going to pick up in popularity. Maybe they even think that they might keep the, keep the government. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll have all good things. Can we? Yeah, there we go. Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is good news about either finances or uh, school education. This is welcome changes. This is good news about welcome changes. And you had... You went out and got financing and you got more education and it led to the victory and the triumph that you worked for. The KKK worked for this. And no 
Nobody's coming in to stop him except maybe the King of Swords. And the Ace of Swords also can cut both ways. That's a two-edged two -edged swords. So we got anything else on this, Spirit? Is there anything else we need to know about the Ku Klux Klan from now until the end of September? It looks like they're on a good roll, guys. It looks like they're going right along. And we got three cards. That's too many. It looks like they're ooh, coming right along. And this Ace of Swords was already there. And their plans are coming together, and it's all indications that they are going to have a victory on this. So what their plans are, which is probably overthrow of the government, would be my guess. They're going to have a victory on it. And are we going to have any more cards pop out, Spirit? Anything else for us? Anything else we need to know? Two. Uh, if we don't pay attention, if we don't pay attention, and everybody sticks their head in the sand, they're going to change residence or change messages. They, they have messages from the past, and it's been confusing and, and airheaded, very chaotic. They're nothing firm, but they're learning from their mistakes, and they're going to change their position. They're going to change your residence. They're going to change your position and get more stable in order to have more growth. And through that, through their own work, they're going to have people supporting them. Because no one's paying attention, it's going to lead them to a victory. So this is till the end of September. Let's see how it pans out. That's what I've got for now. Y'all take care. Have a lovely, lovely month, lovely day, lovely until I see you next time. And thank you so much for your support, your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I really appreciate it. I hope this reading made sense to somebody. But we'll keep an eye on them and see what happens. Remember, the overall that popped out first was the Ten of Swords, so they've got to change. They've had a recent disappointment. They've had to start over again. So we're going to see. We'll keep an eye on this. Okay, better go now. See y'all later.